But let's try and play a game blitz. So we get a three minute game straight away. So good luck. Um, play nine. I'm just trying to pay an eye on the clock there because it starts as soon as you make your um, as soon as the game starts. Okay, there's a pawn connected. It says they're online there. So they should be connected to the game. Well, it's not it's not a world symbol okay players e6 might not have realized that the game had started okay i'm just going to commit to trading the bishop as and when i need to trade the bishop um do i do it now and push on i'm wondering no i don't think i will okay let's castle yeah, knight up, I'll just support my pawn. It's getting a bit truncated, isn't it, now? Um, I'm actually going to drop back and potentially bring the knight forward here. Just trying to figure out a plan, a plan but without burning all of my clock. Let's jump knight up. This knight is guarded. I mean, he can try and fly down the board, of course, he might do that. But now we've got a nice bishop, he can easily charge it, of course. Hmm. I'm going to try and open one of the files up and see how he takes back. He's gone that way. That's a problem. Bishop up doesn't really do a lot. Let's just play queen up then and we'll try and triple stack the file. So we'll just come across. He's fine here because obviously the bishop guards the rook. So he's played queen down. So has he blundered something or has he found a genius move? There's a back rank check which we can block. So take here, take here, take. Bishop back, bishop up. Makes it interesting, doesn't it? Let's go for it, why not? Because I can block the back rank here, so I'm just going to sack everything. And trust I can win the bishop. I just realised he can block here though. Well, I can even do that, which I just completely missed. Um, not very good, was it? Let's just push the pawn up anyway, so the king's got a nice square now. I mean, I can still block if needed, but why did we do any of this? No idea. Let's drop back. So we're just going to threaten to try and pin the bishop, like I thought I was going to do in the first place, but he can't go there. If he goes back, I'll check. If I had three pieces against the queen, it would be playable, but these pawns will probably settle the game anyway now. Okay, so he's got the queen there. Let's just come back just to hit this pawn to try and stop this push. King up to try and release my bishop. Okay, so he's broken that now. Okay, bishop up. I don't think it would be a good trade now. I mean, he can maybe force the issue, but at least it breaks the pawn structures up. But it's hopeless, isn't it? This is hopeless now. I just miscalculated. Okay, queen up. Let's just come forward and try and hit the pawns and pretend we're in the game that we're not really in see what a move that is that's amazing isn't it wow let's bring the bishop up that's a tremendous move holding everything together okay let's encourage a pawn push and come back oh he doesn't what the heck let's check then Threaten a check. There's no actual good discovery, is there? Takes, king takes, and the bishop can't really go and actually hit anything. And I can't easily really drop the bishop back anywhere effective. Okay, I'll have to go here and try. 
because now I'm threatening check to win the queen. What's he walked into here? He's trying to be a bit too fancy, I think. I know he's getting low on time. I think he's trying to be a little bit too fancy from a completely winning position. I know his time has gone down. So I could still take here. Take, take. I must be in time to guard. I can grab a pawn. Yeah, I think this pawn is dangerous. I'm going to take it. Because he's only got eight seconds to convert. Uh, bishop hangs, rook hangs. Actually, I missed that, but I can take and check. Um, just check. Check. And just come back. He's out of time. We've somehow managed to turn one round. Okay, let's just put it through the analyzer and see how we actually played it. Right, we've got the game ready to import into Lee Chess now, so we'll just import the game in. We will wait for this game. This is Stockfish 17 analysing this one. So we just played a speculative sacrifice just for the fun of it, because it was Blitz. And then we miscalculated and it felt like we were much worse, but then my opponent just wandered the king off. Taking a bit of a risk and obviously maybe miscalculated back, so we got a bit lucky with this one. Well, let's see what it was in engine language. Right, the eval is now running. So yeah, our speculative sack was not very clever with it. So we ended up minus three, but we were actually better at the opening. So we played the opening okay, and we should have just played rook to c7 here and basically tried to trade things off there instead of just going for the queen sack. So here, the bishop's under attack, can't easily run out the way. Everything gets traded off too. Bishops are under attack. It's only 1.3 though, so it's not decisive what were the figures we played 87 percent versus 84 cpl 32 and 34 that's just in line with um actually it's slightly better than what i normally do in blitz it's a little bit worse than that in blitz 37 i think it is oh that's on lee chess anyway but in this position it's actually still not bad 0.7 and then i've blundered so moving the pawn was a blunder or well a mistake i should have put the rook immediately behind this Okay, mm, I don't quite see why just now, but that's what you try and obviously learn from. Obviously in your own game, just take your time. I'm just flicking through this now just for the game review purpose. Off camera, I'll usually go through them a lot slower. And I was just trying to manoeuvre around, realising that I've miscalculated and messed up. You can see the engine there is saying that black should just be marching the pawn down the board. Then we end up in this position where we're still minus two, and that's a blunder. And now we're managing to solidify. That's still a mistake, though. I should have actually just taken here immediately. Okay, but it's still a mistake. So we're still only about level in this position. And then that's a blunder as well right at the end. I should have just taken this pawn as well, but again, we were both getting low on time, but I was where my opponent was virtually out of time. I had that little bit there. So it is what it is, but it's still a decent game, though.